people had to scrape in the actual names and dates. As I am now, so you must be. Prepare for death and follow me. Get warm. Welcome to Friday Night Ghost Frights. I'm author and ghost story Mike Ricksecker. Explore with us. Tonight we are covering my top five creepiest cemeteries that I've ever been to. Now I've been to a lot of cemeteries and Shauna and I do what we call cemetery crawls. And while there's many cemeteries out there with great stories like a you know, creepy woman in black going through the headstones, it was very difficult to nail it down to these five. Again, these are five that I've been to and not necessarily ones that I'd love to go to like Greyfriars Kirkyard or the Paris Catacombs. So number five, Lima Cemetery out in Oklahoma. It's a very little known cemetery, but it definitely has a creepy vibe as you go through these hand carved headstones where people had to scrape in the actual names and dates of those that are deceased and some they even took a black magic marker to them this was also the cemetery where i caught a fantastic evp we had a psychic medium that was with us she said hey mike there is a spirit that's standing in front of you right now i introduced myself as michael and it responded with edward can I ask you who you are i'm michael i'm michael Now this one was a great lesson for me years ago in how showing respect toward the spirits will get you some very positive responses. I was well-mannered and introduced myself and I got the reciprocative response back from the spirit. Number four is Schumann Cemetery out in Campsville, Illinois, Shauna's old hometown. This is a lost cemetery, gonna be part of another project that we're gonna be doing later on down the road. It's been abandoned, it's been overgrown, very, very sad to see the state in which it is in today. Number three, Lakeview Cemetery on the east side of Cleveland, Ohio. Now, some may not consider this a quote unquote creepy cemetery, but given the number of mausoleums that just litter the landscape there, they almost make like their own little town. It's some of the Gothic structures that are there is just one of the most beautiful cemeteries to me with this type of architecture. I also happen to have family buried there right at the front of the cemetery as you're starting to head back toward those mausoleums. So yeah, there's a personal stake in it for me, but it also has unmarked graves. Number two, Black Bear Cemetery across the dirt road from the Black Bear Church out in Olive Township, Oklahoma. Now this is one that I have featured a number of times on this channel, just from the responses, the EVPs that I have gotten at this cemetery in which disembodied voices were confirming an observation that I made and also the strangest EVP that I've picked up saying my teeth are warm. The second marker for John right here from the uh, from the Navy so he's got two markers. There's a second marker for John right here from the uh, from the Navy so he's got two markers. Warm. 
In addition to that, couple in the fact that it's right across the dirt road from the Black Bear Church in which we have seen the crawler that may or may not have been conjured. And this is definitely a very, very creepy location. John is a freaking crawler. I did not move. Well, I swear to you guys, I didn't move. We believe you. We believe you. Did you get it? Did you not hear it? Did I you not that. hear the thump on that. the freaking metal? I heard that. Okay, I did not hear I just it. heard I it again. Number one, the old burying grounds in Westfield, Massachusetts. This is one of the oldest cemeteries in the country. And it is actually one of the influences that set me on the path that I am on now today with the paranormal. In fifth grade, we actually went down to this cemetery to do gravestone rubbings, and it has graves dating all the way back into the mid 1600s. Most of those stones are gone, but the stones that are still there date back into the early 1700s. So it's very, very old, and some of the epitaphs on the headstones are actually very creepy and spooky. Reader, behold, as you pass by, as you are now, so once was I, as I am now, so you must be. Prepare for death and follow me. <laughs> I mean, that is like, I, listen to this again. Reader, behold, as you pass by, as you are now, so once was I. As I am now, so you must be. Prepare for death and follow me. That, that's some kick-ass poetry right there. It's sad, but, um, it's basically saying, you know, you're living as I once was. You're not getting out of this alive. You're going to end up in here with me, too. So the Old Burying Grounds in Westfield, Massachusetts, a very, very cool name, Old Burying Grounds, and also a ton of history in old stones that you could spend an entire day checking out. So please go ahead and subscribe to the Hunter Road Media YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. And also check out our playlist of very cool, creepy, haunted cemeteries off to the side over here. I'm Mike Ricksecker. Until next Friday night.